Yeah, no, I'll tell you. You do the best. Back in the front. Parikam, Namaskaram, Namaste, Om Sai Ram, Hari Om, Jai Shri Krishna, and a very good afternoon to everyone. Fifteen days ago, the Chetty family bore the sad loss of a very, very special person in their lives. The late Luke Sundari Chetty, also known as Logima, and Akkama, and Logima, sorry. I was born on the 29th of August, 1923, and departed from my beautiful family on the 16th of September, 2023, at the age of 100. She leaves a host of family, friends, relatives, and neighbors. Ladies and gentlemen, sorry for the late start for unforeseen circumstances. The service this afternoon is rendered by the service for the service group from Phoenix. And if you're familiar with the songs that we're going to sing, 
we'd like you to be part of the service. Shall we all rise for the opening prayer, please? Oh, 
ನಿರ್ಮನರೂಪಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಕಲ್ಯಾಣಿ ನಿರಂದ ಜ್ಯೋತಿ ನಿರಂದ ಕೂವಿ ನಿರ್ಮಲರೂಪಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಕಲ್ಯಾಣಿ ನಿರಂದ ಜ್ಯೋತಿ ನಿರಂದ ಕೂವಿ ಪಾಣಿಯೇ ತೊಳುವೇ ಅಮ್ಮ ಪಾಣಿಯೇ ತೊಳುವೇ ಕಲ್ಮಿಯ ಕರೆಸಿಗೆ ಕಾತಿರೋ ಬಾಯೆ ಸೆಲ್ವಂ ಕಳೆಯಂ ಚಿರಬೇಲ ಕಳ್ಮಿಯ ಕರೆಸಿಗೆ ಕಾತಿರೋ ಬಾಯೆ ಸೆಲ್ವಂ ಕಳೆಯಂ ಚಿರಬೇಲ ಪಾಣಿಯೇ ತೊಳುವೇ ಅಮ್ಮ ಪಾಣಿಯೇ ತೊಳುವೇ ಪಾಣಿಯೇ ತೊಳುವೇ ಅಮ್ಮ ಪಾಣಿಯೇ ತೊಳುವೇ ಓಂ Ladies and gentlemen, this afternoon's service will be rendered in two halves. The first half being devotional songs. The second half will be the Thevarans, the sacred songs. We will call out the family, friends and relatives to come and put farewell to our mum by offering the prayer and doing the Deepa Rajme. Vakra Tunda Makaya Surya Kutti Samaprava ವಿರು ವಿಕ್ರಂ ಗುರುವೇ ದೇವಾರಿ ಸೋರ್ವಕಾರಿ ಸೋರ್ವಕಾರಿ ಸೋ ಸ್ವಾತ್ಸವಿಣ್ಯಂ ಭರ್ಗೋ ದೇವಸೆ ಧೀಮಹಿ ಯೋಣ ಪ್ರಚೋದಯ ಓಂ ಭೂರ್ಭುವ ಸ್ವಾತ್ಸವಿಣ್ಯಂ ಭರ್ಗೋ ದೇವಸೆ ಧೀಮಹಿ ಯೋಣ ಪ್ರಚೋದಯ ಓಂ ಭೂರ್ಭುವ ಸ್ವಾತ್ಸವಿಣ್ಯಂ ಗರ್ಗೋ ದೇವಸ ಧೀಮಹಿ ಪ್ರಚೋದಯ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗಣೇಶ ಓಂ ಗಂ ಗಣಪತಿ ಸತ್ಪುರುಷಾಯ ವಿಮಯಿ ವಕ್ರಕುಂಡಾ ಧೀಮಹಿ ದಂಡೋ ದಂಡಿ ಪ್ರಚೋದಯ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗಣೇಶಯ ನಮ ಸರ್ವೇ 
Come on, love, what are you thinking of? 
நின்றும் அகிலமல்லாமே காற்று நின்றும் தமணியே தீர தூறு தும்பெடியே ஆழியும் நீரும் வந்து வஞ்சும் அழித்திடும் மாகாணி ஆதி மக சரியே
தில்லை கலை கோயில் நடராஜ திருமானே Shivaj 
शिवाय नम शिवाय 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 नम शिवाय 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 नम शिवाय 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 नम शिवाय शांति साई शांति बाबा शांति साई शांति बाबा शिर दे साई कृष्ण कनाई शिर दे साई कृष्ण कनाई नमो नमो साई बजो बजो बाबा नमो नमो साई बजो बजो बाबा साई नमो नमो साई नमो नमो साई नमो नमो साई नमो नमो साई नमो साई शांति साई श्री शांति बाबा श्री शांति साई श्री शांति बाबा शिवाय शिवाय नम शिवाय 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 नम शिवाय 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 नम शिवाय 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 नम शिवाय श्री शांति साई श्री शांति बाबा श्री शांति साई श्री शांति बाबा शिव दी साई कृष्ण कृष्णगनाई नमो नमो साई बजो बजो बाबा नमो नमो साई बजो बजो बाबा साई नमो नमो साई नमो नमो साई नमो नमो साई नमो नमो साई नमो साई नाता साई नमो साई नाता साई नमो साई नाता विशांति साई विशांति बाबा शांति साई शांति बाबा नी 
தூங்க போதே வாதே பாடிடுவே அம்மா 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 Family, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, 
Bamboo Green is the one and only. We have gathered here today to commemorate the 16th day memorial service of the late Logosundari Chetty, lovingly, lovingly known as Logiaka or Anti Logi. It is our belief that when the soul leaves the body, it joins Paramatman or the Supreme Soul. When he deems it fit, God sends the soul back in human form, which is the highest form. Where him in our sacred book which says, Valva of the Mayum is the Manna of the Tinnum, which means life is an illusion, but death is a certainty. The body is perishable, but the soul is not. When the soul, when the soul is cleansed of all evil and sin, it becomes part of God and there is no more rebirth. It is our prayer today that our Supreme God, in his omniscient form, releases the soul in human form and grants, grants it a better life than the previous one. May he guide and protect the soul and help it to attain eternal bliss. May God grant the family moral courage to bear this sad loss. We extend to the family our deeper sympathies and condolences. The significance of the 16-day ceremony. At death, the soul, that is a real person, separates from the body occupied since birth. This separation proves traumatic to the soul. Having occupied the body for so many years, the soul has forgotten its true spiritual nature and identifies itself with the physical body and the earthly plane, and consequently it becomes attached to the worldly environment. On death, as a result, the soul is completely bewildered and tries to convince the body whom the soul can see but cannot touch that it is still alive. The body on the other hand can neither see nor hear the protestations of the soul. On the day of the funeral, the body of the deceased is either buried or cremated. For several days after the funeral, the soul, still bewildered and disappointed, remains in its familiar surroundings. That is coming back to home, visiting the places that visiting places and also the grave, the fresh grave. According to scriptures and traditions, sometime between the 10th and 16th day, it gradually dawns to the soul that the earth was now its home and that it must now prepare itself for a journey to its real home that the spiritual plan from where it came. It is only then that the messenger of the Lord of Death are sent to escort the soul to its spiritual home. It is on that occasion, therefore, when the soul is being gloriously escorted to its spiritual home, that the ceremony commonly referred to as the 16-day ceremony is performed. Giving the homeward bound soul an appropriate send-off with their vibrations emanating from the chanting of various mantras and singing of bhajans and kirtans, creating a wholesome physical atmosphere for the soul's homeward journey. The reason for the basic simple rituals of the third, fifth and seventh day prayer after the funeral are days of intense mourning and these prayers afford the bereaved family members an opportunity to engage in prayers for the well-being and welfare of the departed soul. <coughs> Live a life that matters. Ready or not, someday it will all come to an end. There will be no more sunrises, no minutes, hours or days. All the things you collected, whether treasured or forgotten, will pass to someone else. Your wealth, fame and temporal power and temporal power will serve into irre irrelevance. It is not what you own, but what you owe. Your grudges, resentments, frustrations and jealousies will finally disappear. So too, your hopes, ambitions, plans to do this will expire. Even your gender and skin color will be irrelevant. So what will matter? How will the value of your days be measured? What will matter is not what you bought, but what you built. Not what you got, but what you gave. What will matter is not your success, but your significance. What will matter is not what you learned, but what you taught. What will matter is is every act of integrity, compassion, courage or sacrifice that enriched, empowered or encouraged others to emulate your example. Lastly, what is life? Life is a challenge, meet it. Life is a gift, accept it. Life is an adventure, dare it. Life is a sorrow, overcome it. Life is a tragedy, face it. Life is a duty, perform it. Life is a game, play it. Life is a mystery, unfold it. Life is a song, sing it. Life is an opportunity, take it. Life is a journey, complete it. 
Life is a promise, fulfill it. Life is love, enjoy it. Life is a beauty, praise it. Life is a spirit, realize it. Life is a struggle, fight it. Life is a puzzle, solve it. And life is a goal, achieve it. I thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that beautiful insight. And I tribute to our dear man. Our next speaker is a granddaughter, Sanali, who now will do a poem on behalf of her friend. Vanakam Namaskaram to everyone. My name is Sanali Chetty. I am Akka's great, great granddaughter and today I am standing up in Akka's 15 day ceremony to say a poem for me. When tomorrow starts without me and I am not there to see, the sun will rise and find your eyes all full of tears for me. I know how much you love me, as much as I love you. And each time that you think of me, I know you'll miss me too. But when tomorrow starts without me, please try to understand that an angel mm -hmm. came and called my name and petted me with her hand. I thought about our lives together and no, you must be sad. I thought of all the love we shared and all the fun we had. So when tomorrow starts without me, don't think we far apart. For every time you think of me, I'm right there in your heart. Thank you. Beautiful, beautiful poem for a beautiful granddaughter. I'm sure she's going to really miss the granny. Before we move on, there's one more speaker, Dr. Chetty. Thank you, Sadali. That was wonderful. I have been asked to pay tribute to my aunt on behalf of the Chetty family. So I begin, mm -hmm. members of the Saraswati prayer group, dear family, friends, and well-wishers. Today marks an end of an era for the Chetty family, where I have to pay tribute to my aunt, the last of ten children of my grandfather, Thirnur Chetty. Tirunu Shetty was an Indian immigrant from India who came to South Africa in 1873. And my aunt who passed away was actually 101 years old. She was registered one year late, as was in the olden days. It was very difficult to get a registry office. There was no home affairs. They had to walk to Vedlam from here. And there an old colonial white man tell you, will tell you, Come back next month. You went the next month until you come back the following month. And when you registered, in any instance, you wouldn't even spell your name correctly. So that was the inhuman way in which our grandparents and parents lived in those days. But nonetheless, what is remarkable of my aunt, she lived for 101 years, being born on this farm, the same environment and the same surroundings until her death. And as I said, she was the last born of a very, very large family. Many years ago, I very often visited her and she would recount to me of the difficult days of living in Mount Morland in the 1930s. She was born in 1923. And one of the things she told me, and from which she had very fond and affectionate memories, 
was of a father. And when her father died, she was 10 years old. And she recounted the difficult times that they had to help. In those days, only the boys were allowed to go to school. Girls had to remain at home, help with the housework and all the other chores. And she told me that she doesn't know much about her grandfather. So I said, what do you want to know about your grandfather? She wants to know where did he come from in India? What was his family like? And she somehow passionately and cajoled me to say, look, do some research about this and find out where my father come, came from in India. So being a very favorite aunt of us, she had very good bonds with all of us. She was somebody who was an exceptional human being. And I said, okay, I'll come and do that for you. So this was about the time of the Indians came to South Africa 150 years ago. And I researched where her father came from. In fact, I went to that village in India. It's a village called Tokalum, near the city of Chengalpati, in the Kanjifuram district. I took my wife and my children to go and look for this village. And we went there and found out where this Chetty family came from. Though so there were not very, very many descendants left, but we found out. And we also found out using the ship's list when the, my grandfather came to South Africa and he, how he was indentured to the Waterloo estate, met my granny Chinama, and they bought this farm in the 1930s with their indenture money and they lived. As you can see, this farm is still here after 100 years. It's a notable achievement for the Steti family. And she was so elated when I came back, showed her pictures and related the story to her, that she held a function for the family during the 150-year celebration. And she paid tribute and homage to her parents. And at that function, she showed me that she still had the turban and the billy can of her father who used to carry food in the farm. And I think the family still have it, a noble treasure. She would often recount the difficulties of the early days. She did not go to school. And from up until the age of 17, she lived on this farm with her, with her father. But at the age of 17, there was an incident which changed the course of her life. My uncle also lived on the farm, my, great, my eldest uncle, Parthi Bacchetti, and his, my auntie, Kamachi, lived on the farm with the family. And my aunt, Kamachi, had passed away. And she was a 17-year-old youngster. And my aunt had three children between the age of two and six. My granny gave her instructions that she had to take care of the children. And I can tell you, and you can recount from the two of my cousins who are still here, Mummy and Kudevi, that she gave them the greatest care, love and compassion that any normal mother would give them. And she had cared for them on this farm until they were married many, many years ago. I tell you all these things because when you pay tribute, you have to pay tribute to the type of person that she was. And she must be accorded the greatest respect for this. She sacrificed her own life for the welfare of the Chetty family. We never get that this, these days. If that was not enough, in 1972, my granny had passed on, Chenema. And when my granny had passed on, she had to now assume the matriarch role of this family. It was a big farm to run, they had businesses in Vedal, and there was nobody to take care of it. She stepped in, together with other members of the family, and overlooked affairs of Mount Morland. And she guided the fortunes of many, many of her nieces and nephews. She had given them the best advice, and she helped them in their aspirations and their ambitions. She was not only mother to the immediate family, but to the larger extended family. 
She was grandmother, great grandmother, great great grandmother. Such was the remarkable person that we talk about. Over the years, she made Mount Morlin, this farm, a place of choice. Today, when you talk about a place of choice, you all want to go and relax. Most of us will go to the casino. But in those days and today, when you wanted some peace and quiet in your mind, you'd come to Mount Mollen. And she would look after you with a five-star treatment. There were people who would come here from throughout the country. I have relatives in, in Gauteng. Her brother-in-law was from Gauteng. And he would tell his old family, when you go to Germany, go and see my sister-in-law. And you have car loads of people coming here. And they would entertain them to the best value. So they have paid their dues in this society. They have done more, not only for themselves, but for the larger society and for the larger Chetty family. We will miss her dearly and eternally. One of our requests was that we always must live in peace and harmony, the Chetty family. She wouldn't like anybody to be bickering and fighting. She said, even when I'm gone, make sure that you live in coexistence and in, and in harmony with each other. And I hope that as she goes above and be a guardian angel to us in the, in the company of her mother, father and her brothers and sisters, we will honor that commitment of her keeping the peace and living in coexistence and harmony with each other. And finally, I want to say a very special thank you on behalf of the family to this one and his wife, Lolly. Their children, Jetfin, Devaksha, Pearl, Andre, Ritvin, and all the little children who live around here. They were there always for Akka in the last, not in the last years, in the last many years. And in the final days, especially when she became sick, they had to rush her to hospital. And when she became incapacitated, it's very difficult to take care of an incapacitated person. You know, we do work for the hospice and Cal Palliative Care people. It's a difficult thing to do, but they gave her the best care. I will say thank you to the family at Mount Mullen. God will bless you, and I thank you all. Thank you, Dr. Chetty, with that in-depth research you did. Beautiful speech. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, we now move on to the second half of the service, where we call up the family, friends, and relatives to come and bid farewell to our dear mum. Aya, Granny, there's some house rules to follow. You turn the lamp three times when you come to the altar. You offer the water three times around the photograph. There's flower petals. Turn it around the photograph and put it on the tray that's been provided you in front of the photograph. You do a prayer. If you want to kneel down, you can kneel. You can put your doubt and please go back to your seats. We call up the immediate family to now sing the Teva and the sacred songs. We call up one by one. Thanks. Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Todu Daya Seviyan Pidaya Riyo Tuvan Madi Sudi Thank you. 
नाम शिवाय मेरी मीरम नाम शिवाय ओम नम शिवाय नामो नामो 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 ओम तिरुसट्रमणम माधवने शिव शंकर ने नारियो परमात्मा नारायणे शिव शंकर ने शिवाया वल्लले नम शिवाया 
service is not completed yet. Please, gentlemen, we want some silence in the rear end.
I bless her, I hope God can bless her. She must be a strong and look after the family and she look after the children. That's what I want. She hope she grow. How I am and grow and I'm so healthy. Still at my age, still I like to move. I hope she can do that. I'm thanking Lori so much that what you're doing for me. Let's get my mother. I know my, I love my mother, I love my sister, but today, now my God sent you to my house to look after me. But one thing, I like my grandchildren, Rifle, Rifle, Rifle and Jetful and Pearl. Pearl is my life saver. And Rewashing and Auntie. But any time when I want to go to hospital or clinic, anywhere where I go, but they never refuse. They take and go and come any part of night, they take me and go. Always but Lordy, she never leave me. Wherever I go, she look after me like a bull. I thank her for so much. Now my God must bless her. Now my even I go to heaven, but I'm blessed.
பொருளாக்கி நான் சிவையே ஏற்றுவட்டே அம்மையனே குவருள்ளியவார் ஆர்பெருவா ஆச்சோவே அம்மையனே குவருள்ளியவார் ஆர்பெருவா ஆச்சோவே அம்மையனே குவருள்ளியவார் ஆர்பெருவா ஓம் நம சிவாய 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 ஓம் நம ஓம் நம சிவாய 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 ஓம் திரியம்பகம் யஜாமக சுகிந்தம் புஷ்டி வர்தனம் குருவாரு கமிவா பந்தனன் நித்ரியோர் மோக்ஷியா மாமிரித்தால் ஓம் திரியம்பகம் யஜாமக சுகிந்தம் புஷ்டி வர்தனம் குருவாரு கமிவா பந்தனன் நித்ரியோர் மோக்ஷியா மாமிரித்தால் ஓம் திரியம்பகம் யஜாமக சுகிந்தம் புஷ்டி வர்தனம் குருவாரு கமிவா பந்தனன் மித்ரியோர் மோக்ஷியா மாமிரித்தால் கல்லாப்ரயம் கருதா பிரயம் கசுந்தகே எல்லா பிரயம் நினையா பிரயம் நினைந்துரத்தை சொல்லா பிரயம் துரியா பிரயம் தோழா பிரயம் எல்லா பிரயம் கொழுத்தரவாய் கச்சேகம் வனே அருள் பெறும் ஜோதி கனி பெறும் கருணை கனி பெறும் கருணை அருள் பெறும் ஜோதி ஓம் நம சிவாயா ஓம் நம சிவாயா ஓம் நம சிவாயா ஓம் சாந்தி 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 எல்லோருக்கும் வணக்கம் மெக்கானிக்கி The service is rendered by the Saraswati Service Group from Phoenix. My musicians for this afternoon on, in, on uh, tabla was uh, Mr. Pillay. On harmonium was uh, Alan Chetty. And my name is Mervyn Kisten. Ladies and gentlemen, please do not leave the premises without partaking in an early supper. Supper. Supper before you leave. Thank you. Drive home safely. Mikra Mikra Nandri. Vanakam.